Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Ironheart 634 S Indigo and Indigo jeans. Now, Ironheart did supply me these jeans as a sample for this video, but all of the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Ironheart prior to publication. They will see this when you do. So, I am I'm still fairly new to the Ironheart game. This is my only other garment that I have from Ironheart, which is my uh, 526J uh, indigo and black jacket. This I did pay for with my own money. I've been wearing this for about two, three months now. I've completely lost track, but I've been wearing and loving this jacket. So I do have a little bit of experience with the 14 ounce denim uh, from Ironheart, but this will be my first pair of Ironheart pants. You can see it just arrived today, about an hour ago, so it is still packaged up. So let's start by unpackaging it and taking our very first look at them. So we are double bagged, which I really like to see, especially for international shipment. Inside the poly mailer, we have the paper mailer, made for life by us, brought to life by you. If we flip this over, we do have a little pull tab. There we go, pop that open. Here we go, our very first look at our Ironheart 634S 14ii. So these are the Indigo and in Indigo colorway, which is a pretty unique color. Uh, it's very close to what I'm actually wearing, the Indigo in black. So this jacket has an Indigo warp and a black weft, where the Indigo jeans have an Indigo warp and an Indigo weft, which is a little different for Ironheart because the majority of their jeans have an Indigo warp and a natural weft. Now, I'm saying warp and weft. If you're unfamiliar with warp and weft, the warp is the long thread that kind of runs up and down of the pants, and the weft is the thread that runs horizontally. So the simplest terms, the warp is generally the color that you see on the outside of your jeans. In this case, the indigo. So the indigo, the blue, the black, whatever color the jeans are. And the weft is going to be the underside that you see if you cuff your pants or look at the inside. Generally, for most jeans, you're gonna see a white, but in Ironheart's case, I believe they use natural, so this would be a natural color on the backing. And the indigo weft is really what sets these pants apart from many of the other Ironheart offerings because they generally use that natural weft, so it really looks a lot different. It gives it a lot darker contrast, and it's gonna give you a lot different fades. You can see here, I've been wearing this jacket for a couple of months now, and I am starting to get some nice, high contrast fades, and that's because it's an indigo and black, so these jeans are going to offer some very similar high contrast fades. So these jeans are the 634S 14ii, which means these are the 634, which is the standard cut, which I believe is one of their original cuts of jeans. They are a 14 ounce denim, and the ii is for the indigo and indigo. Now, these are a 14 ounce denim. My jacket is also the 14 ounce denim. This is the lightest denim that Ironheart makes. Now, I will also say that I'm wearing a different pair of selvage denim jeans that are a 14 ounce, and they feel incredibly thin compared to the 14 ounce of Ironheart. So even though these are a 14 ounce denim, which again is the lightest that Ironheart makes, they definitely feel much thicker than the 14 ounce jeans of a different manufacturer that I am currently wearing. But it doesn't feel like thick or stiff. It is actually very soft and pliable and very comfortable. And just feeling the jeans as well, they feel very similar to the jacket. They feel soft to the touch. They don't feel stiff at all. And even just handling these, they feel really nice to the touch without having a soak or a wash to them. They feel really, really nice. So they do feel thicker, but they do not feel stiffer than the other 14 ounce selvage denim that I am used to. They also use tonal poly cotton threading, which means that the stitching that you can see here holding the jeans together is very close in color to the indigo of the actual jeans. But what is that poly cotton thread? That means the core of the thread is poly while the outside shell is cotton. So the cotton will break down, giving your jeans the appearance of the faded worn in look while still being structurally sound because the poly core is not going to break down nearly as quickly as the cotton will. So you're gonna have well worn in, comfortable, they're gonna look they're gonna look nice with fades, they're gonna be broken in, but they're still going to be structurally sound for a longer period of time because of that poly core of the threading. So they are more durable than your average jean. So we have a 14 ounce denim, indigo and indigo, with the tonal stitching, 
it's just a very cool and unique look. I really, really love the overall aesthetic of these jeans. They just look so interesting. And that's the same look that brought me to buy this jacket because I just love the overall look and aesthetic of the indigo and black and the indigo and indigo with the tonal stitching and everything. I just like the, really like the way it looks. And because the indigo warp and indigo weft, you're going to get some very, very high contrast fades, even after a very short period of time with these jeans. So let's break it down a step further. The weft of these jeans is a double twisted yarn, which means they took two thinner pieces of yarn and twisted them together. What that does is it gives it the same strength as a larger, thicker piece of, of weft yarn, but it makes them a lot softer and more comfortable to wear on the inside. And both the warp and weft are rope dyed. What that means is the strands are twisted together into rope and they're quickly and consistently dipped into the indigo dye. What this does is it allows the indigo to penetrate much deeper into the fabric and it gives it a much deeper and darker indigo look to it. And again, with this being such a deep, dark indigo, it's going to lead to some phenomenal high contrast fades. Now, most of the cotton that Ironheart uses is sourced from the US. They do source some cotton from Peru, but that cotton is saved for the heavyweight flannels. So the cotton that these jeans are made out of is actually US sourced cotton. But all that cotton is sent to Japan and all the denim is woven on vintage shuttle looms in Okayana Prefecture, Japan. Now let's take a look at some of the other interesting features of the jeans. So across the back pockets here, we can see bar tacking, which is commonly used in jeans today to secure the pockets because jeans are worn more casually today and rivets can and will scratch surfaces. But what you're not seeing are the hidden rivets that are also holding the pockets onto the jeans. And what this does is make the jeans a lot more durable, last a lot longer without scratching some of those surfaces because these jeans are actually made and meant for motorcycle riders. So you want your jeans to last you for an extended period of time, especially the back pockets, because a lot of that sitting on a seat and moving around will generally wear pockets out quite quickly. So having both the bar tacking and the rivets is gonna make these pockets last a lot longer for you. And one other feature that I just learned recently from the Iron Snail is that the pockets of these jeans are actually cut a little bit wider to make it more comfortable for sitting on a motorcycle seat. Another really interesting feature is the way that the belt loops are actually sewn onto the jeans. They are actually tucked back and sewn into the waistband. What this does is make them more durable and make the jeans ultimately last a lot longer. They also feature twill reinforced bag pockets. And as someone that has sewn bag pockets back together in many a jean, this is a feature that I really appreciate. As I said earlier, these are the 634S, which is the classic straight cut jean with a medium rise and a button fly. Now my jeans are a 34 waist and I generally wear a 32, 32 in American size jeans. But your jeans, if you go by your waist size, they're not actually 32 inches. If you don't believe me, go ahead, stop, go measure, and come back. My jeans and 3232 is generally a 34 to a 34 and a half inch waist. So the 34 in the Ironheart is actually a 34 inch waist. Much like all of the other Ironheart offerings, check the size guides of each of the individual items because each of them will have their own sizes and specs. So these are a 34 waist around, so that's why I got a 34, because it is my actual waist size. Ironheart also states that these will stretch up to about one inch with wear. So as I wear these, they will stretch out. So even if they do feel a little tight at first, the denim will stretch up to an inch, making these up to potentially a 35 inch waist, which for me, it'd be plenty fine because even if it gets a little bit big, I always wear a belt and I'll keep my pants up. So I do recommend that you get a nice high quality leather belt. There are many, many manufacturers out there. I'm currently wearing one that is about 20 years old that is Amish made and it's seen some better days, but a uh, very high quality belt can last you quite a long period of time. Now the nitty gritty about these jeans, these are a high quality purpose built item. They do carry a pretty hefty price tag at $340. But for that $340, you are getting a pair of jeans that is built to last you a lifetime. These are going to wear in, not necessarily wear out. These are repairable. You can send these to a reputable denim repair and you can actually get these fixed and keep wearing them for years and years and years. So I can see why Ironheart has such a cult following. They have their own forums online that you can go to 
talk about different products. You could share your the way your pants and jackets are fading, the way they're looking, and they make so many items. They're not just a selvage denim company. They make deck jackets. They make all sorts of button-down shirts and heavyweight flannels. They have leather versions of some of their jackets. They make a lot of different products, all of which are very high quality and very sought after. So they're not just a denim company. They don't just make jeans and jackets. They make a lot of stuff and it's all really, really high quality stuff that will last you a lifetime. So I can honestly see why this jacket costs $400, why this pair of jeans costs $340, because these are items that will last you in eternity and you can repair them and continue to wear them. I'll probably have to wear these for three to four years almost daily before these things are going to need a patch. And I'm sure once they're patched, they're going to last for another three or four years before they need another one. So I'm really looking forward to wearing these, wearing the hell out of them, trying to get as many fades as I can. So I will do another video in a month or two down the line after I've got several wears out of these and I wanna see how they're, they're looking and how they're fading because this Indigo and Indigo is incredibly unique, it's incredibly appealing, and I love the aesthetics of it, and I think I'm only gonna get some really, really killer fades and some stacks and some honeycombs on these things. I think they're gonna look awesome in a couple of months. So definitely check back to see what these things are looking like once uh, I finally pop the tags off, throw them on my body, and really, really wear them. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night.